From being a sharpshooting journalist, editor and writer, he moved to television to create a niche for himself and the show he anchors. His deft turn of phrase, quick silver thinking, and his ability to turn any argument to his advantage have given him great magnetism. And when it comes to a question of answers, there's no beating him. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the first of our judges, Veer Sangvi. witnessed a sea change in his life. From being a summer intern at Apple Computers to becoming a general manager at Microsoft, his claim to fame is the creation of what is now a household hold word. A convenience that has brought the world closer together through email and boasts of 35 million members. The Hotmail Corporation. Named as one of the elite 100 who has, the, has had the greatest impact on the computer industry of the world. He is every computer buff's dream come true. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you Sabir Patia. As a child star, she worked with directors like Shekhar Kapoor and Sham Benegal. She burst into the limelight again after years of being Miss Goody Two Shoes with her sizzling role in Rangila. Her histrionics in Satya proved that she could be compelling even when de-glamorized. And her latest film, Corn, is set to, uh, is set to uh, create a demand for the fire engines to stand by as she sets the screen afire once more. Ladies and gentlemen, the sensational Urmila Matonkar. ad campaigns and products and products that range from cold drinks to saris to television sets. The feminine Miss India who earned laurels for her country by winning the Miss World crown after two decades of international deprivation. The film star who spells instant glamour. You've seen her pleasurize on television. You've seen her as a heroine in films by directors as diverse as uh, Mani Ratnam, Rahul Rawal and Shankar. She's hitting the screen yet again in Rishi Kapoor's Arab Lot Chale. You guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, Miss World 1994, Ashwarya Rai. took off on a career that, with the speed of a meteor, from his debut in Test Cricket in Bangalore in 1974-75. By the time he played his last Test in 1971, he'd earned the distinction of being the topmost scorer of runs for his country, whose team he captained from 1985 through 1991. His name has gone down in cricketing history as one of the all-time greats, not only because of his dignity and his extraordinary fitness, but because of the fact that he never shirked a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the uncrowned king of the West Indies, the hero of every match he played, Sir Vivian Richards. A 
child prodigy. He was touring by the age of 12, a classical virtuoso of the highest order. His fame rests on the fact that he combines the rich classical training from his guru father with a showman's flair and his own personal brand of genius. His exciting and consistently brilliant performances have won, have won him sorry, a worldwide fan following and many awards, including a Grammy. His flirtations with the screen ensures an ever-growing aura of fans. Ladies and gentlemen, India's gift to percussions, the very charismatic Zakir Hussain. She has the honor of being the third generation inheritor of a legacy of true commitment to Indian cinema. Ever since her debut at the age of 16, she has made Bollywood's first family proud of her talent and her professionalism. Her feisty footwork and body language have won her a special niche in an arena crowded with competitors. Her trophies, which include the national award for the best supporting actress, would have made her grandfather, whom she idolized, extremely proud. Like him, she believes the industry is her home. Jina yaha, madna yaha, iske seva jana kaha. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome India's heartthrob, Karishma Kapoor. the age of three. Her films extend over four South Indian language and languages and of course Hindi. Her blend of overt sexuality and wide-eyed innocence was irresistible. Her talents as an actress unquestionable. Year after succeeding year she vied for her place in the lineup of nominations of best acting awards and more often than not she won them too. Acknowledged as one more of the South's enduring and most loved contributions to Bollywood, ladies and gentlemen, the Chalbaz girl, who's now a full-time mother, Sri Devi. judges is the managing director of India's largest private sector company. He is credited with having brought about financial innovations in the Indian capital market with international public um, with international public offerings of global depository receipts, convertibles and bonds. Member of the Asian Advisory Council of the Wharton Business School and University of Pennsylvania, he is also fellow of the In All India Management Association and was conferred the Businessman of the Year Award in 1997. His charisma and boyish good looks have made him an enduring leader of a large empire that he shares with his family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of India's most influential business and financial leaders, Anil Ambani. tonight's judges. Each of the nine judges will be scoring for the contestants in all the rounds through specially designed software operating from separate networked computers connected to one central scoring server. The scores from all the judges are compiled and computed at the server 
and the results communicated to the judges and fed to television online. The average scores of each contestant for the previous round are considered as the score for the 10th notional judge for each subsequent round. The interface for the online scoring software allows each judge to score for every contestant easily. At the end of each round, the winning contestants are automatically computed and ranked in accordance to the scoring rules for the contest. The contest consists of three rounds. 29 contestants will be judged across three rounds based on physical and mental attributes and overall impact. Nine contestants will be shortlisted for round two. For round three, five contestants will be selected. In each round, the contestant will be evaluated on a 10-point scale. The highest and lowest marks scored by each contestant will be eliminated in calculating the average to avoid any inadvertent bias. The average scores of the shortlisted contestants will be arrived at by taking the scores given by the nine judges and the average scores obtained by the contestants in each preceding round including the pre-judging rounds held this morning. In case of a tie in rounds one and two, marks obtained in the Colgate Gel Miss Body Beautiful contest held in Chennai will be used to break the tie. In case of a tie in the final round, an additional round with a new will be conducted. Yo, accessorized with exclusive Handcrafted jewelry by Amrapali of Jaipur and Mumbai and footwear by Catwalk. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants presented to you by the infectiously witty Cyrus Brochar. This round, as well as all other choreography of the contestants, has been directed by Heman Trivedi, assisted by the queen of the runway, Nayonika Chatterjee. Kalantal, forward march. So Ritu, uh, marching has a lot of punch in it. Yes, it has, you realize? Yeah, I realize. Oh, okay. I can still feel the punch. How come you're <laughs> you needed it, by the way. Yeah, tell How me. come you're an NCC? The idea of getting into it was just to get those samos samosas and something, idli and something as refreshment. Free food. Free yeah. food, yeah. So course. quickly, about dance. Dance, I started about uh, when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And I danced for five years in my life. I Without gave... stopping, no eat food, nothing. You just kept dancing five years. So from eight to thirteen, you were dancing. Eight to thirteen, I was dancing. That's I used to and dance. dances. Try I this. That's that. Tun, tun, tig, da, dig, dig. Thank you. Uh, tai. Tai. <laughs> Contestant number one, Ruto. Excellent ramp walking, excellent, very difficult thing to do, uh, especially walking in heels. Thank you so much. It takes a lot of practicing and we've all been trained. Tell you, I have walked in heels and I've really not been able to successfully walk for more than two heels. That's why you're a man. So the first person to actually call me man on camera and I'm, I'm most impressed. You can have a ball. Thank you so much. So what's extra cover, for example? Extra cover? Yeah. Is that a cricket term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I honestly see, that's what I'm telling you. I Short don't know. Leg, silly point? Nothing. Mid off, mid off, slips, gully, maiden. The only thing I know about cricket is Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> A silly point. Contestant number two, Mandira.
Yeah, nothing. Clown. Clown? <laughs> so, Samata, this is like really funny. Um, why do you hate clowns? Well, I just find them very absurd mm -hmm. and kind of, and, you know, that kind of hair and I don't know how they can amuse kids. I believe you like Western dance a lot. Basically, I like all kinds of dancing. I mean, hip hop and freestyle and reggae. What is freestyle? Anything. What is like your passion? I like watching romantic movies. Oh. So what's your idea of uh, romance? Somebody who is like I see in the movies, a die-hard romantic kind. Someone like you. Like me? Contestant number three, Samita. My language, you speak your language, and we'll manage some of the other. Okay. okay. Let's start now with this whole French, uh, German, linguistic, uh, European languages mm -hmm. thing. Where did that happen? The, I love languages, so I just decided I wanted to study languages. Tell us, what do you think you are like, really? What I'm like? Yeah. Um, I'm generally a very happy person, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I love chatting and um, eating and making friends. She says she's absent-minded. Um, well, give us some examples of this wonderful quality. Uh, excuse me, uh, what's your name? Contestant number four, Guy Piri. Jai Shankar. Rajiv. Rajiv. Ram. Ram. Chamu. Chamu. Okay, Arpita, what do we call you for short? RP? No, people call me Arps. Arps is better because RP sounds like I'm encouraging people to drink. RP? RP? Let's talk about dance. You're a good dancer? Yeah, I am a good dancer. Mm -hmm. I learned sitar. Really? Yeah. And rock climbing, which is a totally different thing where you hurt your hands. Yeah, I, I love adventures. I used to do rock climbing, trekking, rafting. You do a lot of things. You're tiring me just listening to you. I'm saying I want to retire. Contestant number five, Arpita. move and your eyes move and fantastic. Tyrus, listen to me. I don't Super. play the tabla. Yeah, but anyway, very, very good acting. Excellent acting. Let's come to your name. Now, it's a unique name, Yukta. Yeah. What does Yukta mean? Yukta is actually a derivation from the word Yukti, which is a Hindi or a Marathi word, which means idea. I believe you're interested in animation. If you give me a room or whatever, I can elaborate a lot on color schemes. If you give me a room, I'll go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. when I walk you to the door? Thank you. Okay. Tablas? No. Oh, you don't pay the tabla. That's right. Contestant number six, 
Yukta. Sheetal's uh, version of me. So now Sheetal's going to tell us she actually likes animal care. Now I don't really know what that means. What's animal care? It's like caring for the animals, loving animals. So what my parents do with me, basically. Yeah, I have a dog. What kind of dogs do you have? She's a mix between a dachshund and a spit. That big is the spit? Yeah. And, and that small is the dachshund. So how did that small dachshund mate with that big spit? Well, I wasn't there when it happened. No, there's some cheating going on here. <laughs> Contestant number seven, Sheetal. <laughs> Hey, look, it's that famous swimmer, Sri Krupa. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you got some good backstroke. Oh, really? And some good freestyle. Aren't you a great swimmer, too? That's right, how do you know? You look a little wet under the suit. Huh? You're into swimming in a big way, you're a champ? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I've been, a, I've been a national swimmer. I've been a national record holder in my stroke, breaststroke. Mm -hmm. And I've been swimming since the age of four. You're a big model all over the place. So how do you get into modeling from swimming? That's because... Uh, prop Swimsuit, perhaps. No, the thing was, I've entered for fun and then things went the way I wanted. Sounds like the competitive swimming world and I was a competitive modeling world. Totally different. Contestant number eight, Shri Krupa. Catch the flight. Oh, well, just in time. <laughs> okay, Shamita, I just have to tell you, I'm most impressed with your plane, but you said you want to be a pilot. As a profession, mm -hmm. I would like to be a pilot, but as a maybe a hobby or a side profession, of course, modeling will be there. And what about men? Now that you're going to be this big model and all, is there a difference in anything? Always keep your head on your shoulders and never, never lose your dignity and self-esteem. So how do you deal with these men who try to do the come on, you know, put their hand around and uh, start <laughs> talking to you and things like that? Am I, uh, uh, mm. Mm. No, just if men are indecent, you don't think you're decent, so... Okay, push them off the plane yeah. without a parachute. Yeah. Contestant number nine, Shamita.
I'm good, yeah. What's up? I'm just not feeling well. You think I could make you feel better? I'm sure you can. <laughs> well, then let's <laughs> just turn around. What's that for? Ah! Okay, first let me take this weapon away from you because you've already pricked me and I'm worried. That's all a big lie. So men and women, women have taken over dentistry and things like that? Men have, women have taken over everywhere, it's just not dentistry. Right. Men are just basically useless. Okay, so what you're saying is the next Miss India, the new men going to take part for sure? Of course. Have there ever been any men? What else do you like? Uh, I basically read books. Mm -hmm. I like watching movies. And what else can one do with books anyway? Then Girls, 1999, presenting girls from 11 to 20. Madam, very nice uniform. One price fits all, madam. Please take a look, madam. There's cheap discount. Yes, Arshita has got a brand new uniform, a small size because we couldn't find anything else. And uh, this is for you. you want to know no, why? that's for you. <laughs> for me? Yeah. Okay, but I thought I'd give it to you because you study the uniform civil code. I study the uniform civil code, not about the school dress. Are, are the laws okay for both men and women, you think, in India? No, they are not okay for men and women both. Mm -hmm. Because um, women are subordinate to men. That's, in fact, you can see in all the laws. Either you take IPC, either you take Muslim law, Hindu law. Mm -hmm. Any law, women are subordinate to men. And uh, so you have to rectify this? Yeah. Though I'm quite happy. Contestant number 11, Archita. Does he bite? No, I oh. don't. Hi, doggy. Hi, dog. Ow! I thought you said he didn't bite. He's not my dog. Ow. So, Poonam, it's a uh, woof woof. Ah, oh, ah, which oh is, you bet. Which is basically translates into hi, how are you, and I believe you like dogs. Yes, very much. So let's whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so what else is Poonam all about? Poonam is all about dancing. She's got rhythm in her body and... Uh, well, what about bass and lead and all that? That I don't have, but yes, I do have rhythm. But I love dancing, I love working out, and I love my freedom. Uh, any thoughts about the other people, the other sex? They're okay. Contestant number 12, Poonam. Mm -hmm. 
how you got interested in dancing my mom was a classical dancer okay. she's very keen that we learn it as well that's me mm -hmm. and my sister i thought some brother of yours was going to check <laughs> no that's okay what's wrong with a brother doing dance <laughs> nothing wrong huh? but we're just two sisters yeah and, and if a boy does dance that's okay right that's great okay what's my name ah uh ha -huh. fine you pass the test contestant number 13 drishti Shubha! Hi Cyrus, how are you? Shubha! Didn't you come through the door? Come on Cyrus, you forgot. I'm a software professional. I use Windows. Shubha. Have you got yeah. it right? You got it perfectly right. Can I call you right. Shubhs? What do they call you for short? Not that uh, Shubha is long. No, not that Shubha is long. They call me Shubhs. So what about Shh? No, they don't call me like That's that. what they call me. They call me Shh. Shh. Okay, when did you have time? You were a bookworm. You were like so focused. You were like 15 other things you were doing. And you still had time to go and play, well, take part in sport? I was planning to really contest for the school athletics and do well. That's when I broke my knee and nothing could be done later. Yeah, wow. I was going to play for India. This close, this close. Oh, you know, oh. And uh, broke my knee and that's it. Contestant number 14, Shubha. so depressed i lost my kitty oh you lost your kitty no problem i'll find your kitty i'm here kitty kitty thank god he's gone it's safe now <laughs> oh kitty this is shabana known as shabs right yeah that's a nice name but i have done some extra research and uh, my department has come up with some interesting information you are also called <coughs> banana <laughs> why were you called banana because it rhymes with shabana the cat personality you know do you identify with that I guess in a certain way. I think I'm very independent like a cat. Okay. I think I'm intelligent like a cat. Mm -hmm. And you're clean. And I'm clean, yeah, I'm clean. Contestant number 15, Shabana.
milkman did. Hmm? I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it where I like. Very good. Thank you. Very good, very good. We have Minakshi here and uh, also known as Minka. Yes. And let me explain why we're talking about bicycles and singing about bicycles. It's because she has cycled from Madras to Pondicherry. Yes. On cycle. This was a part of the NCC program I was in in college. So what else do you like? Swimming? Mm, not quite. Running? I'm scared of depth, so I can't swim, you know. Yeah. If you have a really big basin, we have to wash your hands. Are you worried? <laughs> oh, they'll never come back if I wash my that. hands. Contestant number 16, Minakshi. excited to see you. Really? Why? I just found someone who looks like you. Oh, let me guess. Uh, Tom Cruise? Uh, no. Matt Dillon? No. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan? No. Ooh, who? Pinky. Pinky? So why do people call you baby? You're like quite a, you know, big baby now. Because that's my nickname. What kind of person do you think should win a competition like Miss India? A person who's genuine, who knows herself first, who can discover herself first and then discover the whole world. So who do you prefer to interact with, girls or boys in this profession, men or women? Uh, well, personally speaking, I'm more comfortable with men because all my best friends <laughs> are men. Contestant number 17, Miss Moore. Right? Hi. Hey, is my house ready? Yeah. Good, good, good. Um, is it pretty? Mm, yeah. Are the windows done? Yeah. Okay, okay. So what's the problem? There's no problem with the house, you know. Mm -hmm. But just that uh, you're too big. Hey, you hate hypocrisy. Yeah, I do. Because one moment you are really very friendly to the person. And the moment you just part away from that person, he has a totally different picture of you. Isn't that normal? What if a guy keeps talking a lot of rubbish around you and doesn't let you speak? Is that a problem? No, I'll be too polite to him. Oh, okay, wow. okay. Come on, put your fist up. Contestant number 18, Priya. in your hands? Eggs. Eggs, eggs. What are you going to do with eggs? I'm planning to cook butter chicken in 10 years, stupid. Excellent. Yeah, it's time for a new show. It's called Breakfast with Gul. This is Gul and this is breakfast. Yeah. Now, let me explain before anybody gets <laughs> upset that we're showing eggs on the show. The fact is that uh, you've ridden an ostrich. Oh, yeah. And it's mighty hard, even for those who can ride horses. Because right. sitting on a, an ostrich is like trying to ride a Harley Davidson minus the handles. You've ridden Harley Davidson? <laughs> you've lived a lot. But you do good accents, I believe. Can we hear some? 
Well, um, yes, sir. What would you like to hear? I'd like to hear Beethoven. <laughs> okay. Because I can't read, I cannot sing Beethoven for you. Okay, that's beautiful. That's pretty good. <laughs> Contestant number 19, Gul. Charles, why do you look so depressed? No, I can't make up my mind whether to wear my black suit or my blue suit. I'll help you make up your mind. Really? Anukuti, of course, is a makeup expert as well as a person who uses makeup because she's a famous model. But we'll first start with the name. What does it mean? My name means a replica, and I hope to be a replica for the goodies. What else do you like? Well, I love listening to music, mm -hmm. dancing. I'm doing my sixth year of Kathak. Mm -hmm. So I love eating, laughing, talking, making friends, of course, mm -hmm. and reading about zodiac signs. Zodiac sign? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what sign are you? We must ask you that. Also. I'm a Leo. Well, what are things that people don't like about you? My ego. Contestant number 20, Anukriti. Amazing confidence, astounding beauty, and many young women making their debut on stage tonight. Doesn't that quite take your breath away? That's what extra care does. Well, it can only get more breathless as our next performer comes on. The multifaceted singer whose command over his art has won him rave reviews and awards. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Shankar Breathless Mahadevan. <laughs> I'm not the 
शायद दिल में समाया था कैसे मैं बताऊँ तुम्हें कैसा उसे पाया था प्यार से चेहरे पे बिखरी जो दुल से तो ऐसा लगता था जैसे घोर के पीछे एक ओस में धुला हुआ फूल खिला है जैसे बादल में एक चांद छुपा है और चाँद रहा है जैसे रात के पर्दे में एक सवेरा है रोशन रोशन आँखों में सपनों का सागर जिसमें प्रेम सितारों की चादर जैसे झलक रही है लहरों लहरों बात कर जैसे मोती पर दे जैसे कहीं चांदी की पायल गूंजे जैसे कहीं शीशे के जाम गिरे और झलते टूटे जैसे कोई चुप के दिखार बजाए जैसे कोई चांद भी रात में गाए जैसे कोई हाल से पास बुलाए कैसी मीठी बात थी वो कैसी मुलाकात थी वो जब मैंने जाना था ना तो उसे कैसे पर कैसे कभी लगता है सर की अगर उसने बताया मुझे और समझा मुझे हम जो मिले हैं हमें ऐसे ही मिलना था दुल जो खिले हैं उसे ऐसे ही खिलना था जन्मों के बंधन जन्मों के रिश्ते हैं जब भी हम जन्म तो हम भी मिलते हैं कानों में मेरे जैसे शहर से खुल लगे खाबों के दर जैसे आंखों में खुल लगे खाबों की दुनिया भी कितनी हसी और कैसी रंगी थी की दुनिया जो कहने को थी पर कहीं भी नहीं थी जो खुली मेरी होश जो आया मुझे मैंने देखा मैंने जाना वो जो कभी आया था नजरों पे छाया था दिल में समाया था जा भी चुका है और दिल मेरा है अब तन हा तन हा तो कोई अरमा है ना कोई तमन्ना है ना कोई अब जो मेरे दिन और अब जो मेरी रातें हैं उनमें सिर्फ आंसू हैं उनमें सिर्फ दर्द की रंज की बातें हैं और पर यादें हैं मेरा अब कोई नहीं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं डूब गया है दिल गम के अंधेरे में मेरी सारी दुनिया है दर्द के घेरे में मेरे सारे गीत ढले या हो मैं बन के दीवाना अब यह वहाँ फिरता हूँ तो कर खाता हूँ राहों में जहाँ उसे देखा था जहाँ उसे चाहा था जहाँ मैं हटा था और बाद में रोया था जहाँ उसे पाया था पाके खोया था जहाँ कभी फूलों के कलियों के साए थे रंगे रंगे मह के रुदने के कदम पर रात रजाए थे गुलशन गुलशन दिन में उजाले थे जगमग जगमग नूर धरा तो मैं झिल मिल झिल मिल जा मैंने बाबू की देखी थी मंजिल जहाँ मेरी कष्ट ने पाया था साहिल जहाँ मैंने पाई थी पलकों की छाओ जहाँ मेरी बाहों में कल थी किसी की मर मरी गाहे जहाँ एक चेहरे से हटती नहीं थी मेरी निगाहें जहाँ कल नरमी ही नरमी थी प्यार ही प्यार था बातों में हाथ थे हाथों में जहाँ कल गाए थे प्रेम जगाने जहाँ कल देखे थे सपने सुनाने किसी को सुनाए थे दिल के बताने जहाँ कल खाई थी जीने की मरने की तक में थोड़ी थी दुनिया की सारी रख में जाकर बड़े दादा प्रीत का बादल जहाँ मैंने काम था कोई चल जहाँ पहली बार हुआ मैं पागल लबून राहों में कोई नहीं है अब है वो राहू मीरा मीरा दिल भी है जैसे है रा है रा जाने कहा गया मेरे सपनों का मेला है सही ख्यालों में खोया थे घूम रहा था मैं सब के अकेला जो देखा मैंने मिल गया खोया हुआ दिल का सहारा मुझे जिसे मैंने चाहा था जिसे मैंने पूजा था लौट के आया है थोड़ा शर्मिंदा है थोड़ा घबराया है तो परेशान है कांपते हो तब भी हुई आते देख रहा है मुझे तुम 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 मुश्किल नजर जैसे पूछ रही हो इतना पता तो कहीं खबर तो नहीं तुम प्यार जो देखा फिर मेरी निगाहों में अब लगी पल था मेरी इन बाहों में भूल गया मेरा दिल जैसे हर गम बने गया जैसे दुनिया का मौसम Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible. And now, the last nine representatives in round one of the contest. Contestants 21 to 29. Give me a brush. Okay. You want the paint too? Huh? Yes. One of the finest painters we have in the country and uh, she doesn't paint horses. Let me clear that right away. Uh, you did study painting. Yeah, I did. And how does one study painting? You've got to start by painting small objects and stuff. In the and you have to do theory and all that as well? Theory of color, how color is mixed and what do you get when you mix so-and-so colors and mm -hmm. So what do you get when you mix black and blue? You get a black and blue. 
school, you get a black eye. Okay, that's right, you get full marks for that. And uh, did you study a, a famous painter called Gopal Ram? Are you laughing? <laughs> no, I haven't. He's the guy who did my bathroom, just Tuesday. Contestant number 21, Shivangi. Give me that. You loser. Her name is Bond, Swarina Bond. And actually she's into astrophysics and NASA. Yeah, that, I dream about going there. She dreams about, dreams about going there. But first let's give them a demonstration. You want to shoot the viewers? Yeah. Show them what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> and why NASA? Why do you want to go to NASA? Um, I think uh, the celestial... Uh, you saw some cute guys in uniform in a, in a Hollywood film and you said, Hello. Where are they from? NASA. Okay, I'm going to NASA. I think guys with antennas, right, right. <laughs> Contestant number 22, Swarina. <laughs> How do you know? Where this? Mm. Panchali, right? Right. Is that correct? Right. It's important to get that correct from the beginning. And uh, right. what do they call you for short? Punch. Punch? Right. That's simple and nice. Okay. Do you mind if I... Uh, just kidding. I do. What mm. else do you like? Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, what do you want to know? Everything. I like chocolate. I like ice cream. I love sleeping. I love lazing around. You're really I giving me ten things. Watching TV. I love... Tracking, I love playing basketball, and I love... How do you people music? remain so thin if you love chocolate? Simple. Just go on eating. This is the Panchali method. Mm -hmm. Contestant number 23, Panchali. Titanic? Ten times. Are you going to see it again? Yes. Can you drop my dolphin off? Okay, I'll tell you, honestly, this is a dolphin which we've got because we believe your best moment, your happiest moment in your entire life was when you went to a dolphin park and the dolphin came out and sang to you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Uh, where was this? Hong Kong. Ocean Park? Not Churchgate. Okay, what about you as a person? What are you actually like? I'm a very approachable person. And negative? Anything bad? The negative part is that my inability to say no. Oh, so supposing a guy comes up to you and says, let's go for a dance, you'll never say no? If I or like you... the guy, I won't. Yes! Yeah, but I told you if I like the person. And if you don't like the person? Then no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Contestant number 24, Medica.
mind if I call you cauliflower? What's the matter with you? Yes, time for us to take a quick course in vegetarianism. With us is Reno who's going to teach us. Reno, I believe you're fascinated with vegetables. I'm not fascinated by vegetables. I'm fascinated by animals. I'm basically fascinated by the idea of making a film. What about being in front of the camera? I've already done that. I'm already into modeling. But are you acting as well? Yes. I have done a serial. I've done a couple of ad films, commercials, a video. Mm -hmm. So you've done a lot of acting as well. So you're ready now, you're finished with the acting yeah, part? Yeah, now I'm finished with the acting part, and then I'll go to the production part, then I'll go on to the editing, then finally... What about getting the sponsor, which is the most important and the only part that is... That's the production, no? Contestant number 25, Renu. Traditional welcome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, there you come. There you come. There you come closer. Come closer. Oh, oh how <laughs> sweet. Okay. Hey, how about a kiss, Pallavi? Yeah. Come on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the kiss is not for the teddy bear. <laughs> you also said you had a black tongue. Oh. Can we? Can we see? Uh, uh it's secret. Oh, it's okay. Secret. <laughs> it's uh, no. So, what? What is this black tongue? Actually, whatever I say comes true. Really? Oh. So, will it snow in Bombay? Contestant number 26, Pallavi. Tina? Singing in the rain. It's not raining. I'm not singing either. Hmm. Okay, here's Tina and we just caught her. She's come out of the rain, right? Pouring rain. How do you know that? Because you've got an umbrella here which is kind of dried up completely. That's Old not umbrella. really an umbrella, you know, Cyrus. That's a parachute. Let me tell you why we've got this parachute. It's because we found out that you're a parasailing expert. Love to do parasailing. In fact, I'd love to go bungee jumping. Yes. If you ever want to go bungee jumping, please, I'm willing to come with you. We'll wear bungee and Cyrus. jump all over the place. Wear <laughs> bungee and Gunjis jump yeah, all over the place. Yeah, it's easy. You don't get hurt. And you can share bungee sometimes. It's a great uh, experience. No, I think we're just going to separate bungees and go oh. bungee jumping. Contestant number 27, Tina. Here is the piano, here is Reina. So what, how do you get into pianos? Um, actually my mom is a piano player, she teaches the piano, and so I started learning since the time I was very little. From pianos to computers, how do you make the journey? Um, well actually I wasn't uh, really, really interested in computers, but I got a 
feet for computer engineering, so I just went ahead. Computer, so that's your other love of your life. Again, yeah. keys. You have a fascination yeah. for keys. Probably, yeah, I have really long fingers. So. Really? Show your fingers again. <laughs> wow, those are nice fingers. Okay. Contestant number 28, Reyna. <laughs> Who's your favorite ruler? Chandragupta Maurya from Maurya's dynasty. Yeah? Yeah, who's yours? I like Deluxe. Oh, shut up. Now, firstly, I've given you this ruler. Mm. And uh, the reason I've given it to you is because you, you said in the, your personality trait, the strongest one is height. Yes. Okay? Yes. And you use that height. Uh, you want to explain that? How, how does that height come in handy? You know, I used to be noticed all the time in college and school. Like, okay, fine, she has a good height. Then it helped me in my work. Mm. I'm modeling from last almost two and a half years. So what about clothes? Do you like clothes? I like comfortable clothes. I'm always in my jeans mm -hmm. or my pajamas or something, something very comfortable. I like that. She likes jeans and pajamas. Contestant number 29, Satvinder. By that was the spectacular round one of the Femina Miss India contest 1999, sponsored by Palmolive. I'm sure you all noticed how exceedingly elegant all the contestants were, so please may I ask you to give a big hand to Heman Trivedi and the Sheetal Design Studio, official designs of the contest for their brilliant creativity. Now, while the judges get on with their scoring and sort out their computers, I think we have time for a little more fun. Absolutely. The Indian woman has emerged from her cocoon of anonymity to assert her individuality. She dares to dream and dreams to dare. As the new millennium approaches, she is poised to take off into even more sensational horizons. A new mindset needs new forms of expression. Clothes, they say, make us a man. But I think a woman's clothes express her spirit, symbolize her personality. Artistic, scientific, questioning, and analytical. That's the contemporary woman, I believe. Romantic, considerate, creative, challenging. She's all this, too. In other words, the Indian woman at the turn of the 20th century has many roles, many facets, and many aspects to her personality. Sounds too good to be true? Not at all. I have it on good authority that the woman of the millennium has promised never to nag her husband for the next thousand years. As long as she does, as long as he does what she tells him. 
The next round of the contest celebrates the woman of the millennium. Our 29 contestants now enter dressed in very individualistic, cre cre individualistic creations that symbolize how each one of them or their designers see the contemporary woman. The most imaginative and expressive garments will win for its designer the best costume of the show trophy. The outfits you will now see have already been previewed and judged by a panel of expert judges comprising. Hemant Trivedi, the designer whose creations we just saw, choreographer and fashion guru. Anna Singh, fashion designer and couturier to some of the best dressed stars in the film industry. L.V. Saptarishi, Executive Director of the National Institute of Fashion Technology, Delhi. Sangeeta Chopra, a famous fashion choreographer and designer. Rina Dhaka, a fashion designer whose clothes are a celebration of life. And in keeping with feminist constant celebration of the ever-changing woman of substance, ladies and gentlemen, the designer wear second round of the Palmolive Femina Miss India contest 1999. Please welcome our contestants. Thank you. 
I wish each of you could be a winner. But tonight's winner of the best costume award is Seema Roy, who designed the costume worn by contestant number six, Yutta. creation. Winners, winners, winners. One exit and it's time to call in nine more. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go into round two, let us prepare to welcome the nine chosen ones who will vie for their place into round three. 
three. Now you get to know the judges nine. Each of these nine contestants selected will, be, uh, will answer a question asked by the judge whose name she picks. So here goes. The lucky nine winners from round two of the contest are... Contestant number four, Gayatri. Contestant number six, Yuka. Contestant number eight, Srikrupa. Contestant number 12, Poonam. Contestant number 19, Gul. Contestant number 21, Shivangi. Contestant number 25, Reno. Contestant number 26, Pallavi. And contestant number 27, Tina. Congratulations to these nine who've been selected for the next round. A big hand for them for making it so far. And to the girls that were not selected and is now with a heavy heart and great regret. Thank you for your hard work and participation. Thank you very much, girls. Ah, the agony and ecstasy of competitions. For every winner, there are many losers. But are they really losers? Aren't they rather brave and beautiful women who dared to enter where others feared to tread? They've lost a battle, but not the war of life and love, fulfillment, achievement. I know we all wish them well, whether they've won this competition today or not. And I'd like to give a hand of uh, uh, an applause for the losers as well for all their spirit and daring, bravery and courage.
Now, Lilla, would you kindly do the honors and help the girls pick the names of the judges who will ask them their questions? Okay. All right, now, pick a card. Good evening, Mr. Anil Ambani. Mr. Anil, we need a question from you, please. Good evening. My question to you, Gayatri, is if you came face to face with God, what would you say to him and why? If you came face to face with God, what would you say to him and why? If I came face to face with God, all I would like to do is thank him for the wonderful world that he has given us and made us into different and unique human beings. And I would like to tell him that we will all do our best with our own unique talents. Thank you. Great answer. Okay. So Vivian Richard. Mr. Vivian, your question, please. How do you define the true sports person? <laughs> How do you define the true sports person? Good evening. I would define the true sports person as one who welcomes defeat as well as success with a healthy attitude and with a smile. Okay, your card. Good evening, Miss Urmila Matonka. Miss Urmila. Good evening, Sri Kripa. Could you please tell us what does the word tradition mean to you? What does the word tradition mean to you? A very good evening to everybody. Tradition to me means keeping up our ethics, morals, and our own rules and regulations in our society. Tradition also means, in other words, a woman. A woman who's dreaming of a new world where her dreams and aspirations are articulating her individuality and freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sabir Bhatia. Mr. Sabir, can we have your question, please? Yes, good evening. Uh, in your opinion, what is the most important technological innovation of this century and why? <laughs> <laughs> you got an answer? A very good evening to everyone. In my opinion, the most important technological invention of this century is definitely the microchip, the computer, because of it, it's shrunk the world so much that we don't uh, feel the dis distance anymore. And uh, probably because of which a lot many other people are seeing me today and uh, knowing about me through the net because of Femina and the rest. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Miss Karishma Kapoor. Miss Karishma, can we have your question, please? Good evening, Goal. Given a choice, whose shoes would you like to step into? Sonia Gandhi's, Jaya Lalita's, or Arundhati Roy's? Choose one and give your reasons. Okay. Think about this. Good evening. Given a choice, if I had to step into any one of these women's shoes, it would be Arundhati Roy. Because to me, this woman represents the woman of the new millennium. A woman with a vision and a woman who has made a successful contribution to society as a mother, as a daughter, as a wife, and most importantly, as a human being. Thank you. Right. Mr. 
Mr. Veer Sangvi. Mr. Veer? Hi, Shivangi. Uh, three things. Fame, beauty, wealth. If I asked you to pick just one out of fame, beauty, and wealth, which one would you pick and why? Okay, which one would you pick? Of fame, beauty, and wealth, I would pick beauty because it is God's gift to me. No matter how I look, it's the inner beauty which counts. And with this beauty, I can very well get fame and wealth if I use it the right way. Thank you. Well said. <laughs> Miss Aishwarya Rai. Miss Aishwarya, can we have your question, please? Hi, Reno. You're today's woman, confident, collected, independent. Tell me, um, is it wrong to wait for Mr. Wright? Hmm. <laughs> A very warm good evening to all of you. I do not think that we should wait for Mr. Wright because I believe if things have to happen to you, they will happen. And if I have to have my Mr. Wright, he'll come my way. I don't have to wait for him. Thank you. Okay. And the card for you. Mr. Zakir Hussain. Mr. Zakir Hussain, can we have your question, please? Good evening, Pallavi. Uh, I'm going to take you back to the days of the Bible. Now, my question is, you think, was it wrong for Eve to eat the apple? <laughs> Answer carefully. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think Eve has done the best thing in the world because, because eating of the apple proves that she is the best woman and she has proved independent. She doesn't have to depend on the man. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yay. You don't have a choice. You have to. Mrs. Sri Devi Kapoor. Mrs. Sri Devi Kapoor. Good evening, Tina. India. What emotion does this name inspire? What does it inspire? I don't think I could pick out on one emotion. India evokes so many emotions in me. It would be difficult to pick out one word. It's tradition, love, patriotism, everything combined together. Thank you. Well done, girls. Thank you, girls. You were great answers. And you can exit now while the judges make their decisions. On their answers and the judges' scores will depend which one of them is selected for the next round. A big round of applause for all of them as they leave this particular round as they enjoy their success. The lucky nine from whom will be culled and selected those that go to the next round. Now we have a timeout for the judges and as we begin the next segment we move into a musical act and what an act and I had the pleasure of meeting Jay Uttal about a year ago in Los Angeles on the very night that he got married. As a result of that meeting, he sent us some CDs of his work and I became aware of a major new musical talent, at least new to my consciousness. So it was a special pleasure to hear him tonight, live, on this occasion. Back to the contest, the moment of truth draws closer and the clock ticks towards the zero hour when the, when the winners will wear their glittering crowns and move on to glory. The computers hum and the figures decree who will move on 
to the ultimate round. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all 29 contestants one last time in evening gowns of their choice. You get them, you get the pleasure of seeing them together once again.
Ladies and gentlemen, you saw the 29 beautiful finalists in their evening wear. Now, out of the nine girls that have been selected, five girls will step up before you, who will be the judge's choice for the final round. Before that, look at all of them. These are the young faces of India, the 29 that were picked from thousands for the Palm Oliver Femina Miss India contest tonight. They were trained by the Femina Finishing School, and it's a training in all aspects, from skin care to makeup, spirituality to etiquette, and of course, Indian culture. And I'm sure there are many women out there who uh, wish they'd been there. Well, let's quickly see some of the wonderful moments the girls have had on their way to this magical night.
Let's kill us the important five names. Okay. The five lucky ones who have made it to the final round. Oh. Well, let me make one thing clear. These names that have been called out are in completely random order. <coughs> Contestant number four, Gayatri. Contestant number six, Yukta. Contestant number eight, Srikrupa. And to all those wonderful girls not selected, thank you for having been here and for taking on the challenge. Thank you so much. Thank you. The question that will decide the lives of these women. It will decide which of these five young women wear the crown tonight. Crowns that will be their passport to a year of royalty and an era of fame and glamour. The girls have one minute to write down their answers to this question. And remember, judges, what you're looking for are winners suitable for international contests? I'm going to read the question and I will repeat it once. And after the, that, you'll hear the gong and you'll have one minute. In the context of the recent controversy, if you were Chelsea, what is the single most important advice you as a daughter would give to your parents Bill and Hillary Clinton, and why? They write them, and Layla will collect the answers, and they will read out from their duplicates, so that we are sure that what they are reading out uh, is what they wrote in that minute, and didn't embellish it afterwards while actually reading out their answers. Yeah. <laughs> Please, sir. Good evening again. I would like to advise them separately to my father, Bill Clinton. I would like to show him how important truth is to really go far in life. And to my proud mother, Hillary, I would like to tell her to go on with her determination and grit. Thank you. Well done. Good evening. If I were Chelsea, I would tell my parents that in the values that you have taught me, I still stand by you no matter what and hope that we can set an example for the rest of the world to see what family values and ethics are all about. Thank you.
good evening once again. Choices make our habits, and habits make our choice. I respect my father, whom I consider Mr. Bill Clinton, and I would abide by him, as long as he does his administrative work properly. It, he's entitled to make his own choice, and I shall stand by him. Thank you. Good evening once again. The most important piece of advice I would give my parents, Bill and Hillary Clinton, would be standing by each other because now is the time the world is testing us and we should put aside our differences and put up a brave front because family is the single most important unit. Thank you. Perfect. Good evening. If I were Chelsea Clinton, the one important advice I would give my parents would be that the most important thing in life is the sacred institution of marriage and family is your only anchor in life. So we must all face the good and the bad times bravely and stay together. Thank you. Thank you very much, girls, for your very interesting answers. Now would I, I would request the escort the results. But there are some things that have to be done, like a visit to the dentist. They're necessary, and they're good for you. But like a good dentist, I will try and make it as painless as possible. This is a word of thanks to, this, to many of the players who shaped this event. The official host, Blue Diamond Pune, Venue courtesy the Pune Club Limited, mobile phone service BPL Mobile, official transporter Hyundai Santro, beverages Coca-Cola, refreshments Mongini's The Cake Shop, official designer Heyman Trivedi and the Sheetal Design Studio, makeup and hair Bharat and Doris Gudambe, jewelry Amrapali of Jaipur and Mumbai, sets design Bijan Das Gupta, sets execution the design company, the official photographer Dabu Ratnani, lights Viraf Pocha, Sound Rustam Pavri, Music Compilation Pulsar India, Stage manage Management On Cue Productions, Backstage Management Vabiz Mehta, Props for TV Shoot Alio Mumbai, Portfolio Shoot Jatin Kampani, Location for Portfolio Shoot Royal Palms Golf and Country Club Mumbai. Our special thanks are to the Pune District Collector, the Pune Municipal Corporation, Pune City Police, Sai Tourism, Sundar Travel Shop, Yazad Travel, Subhash Thanas Associates, Amar Mulchandani Associates, Smart Mobile, Brian Tellis and the Fountainhead for their wonderful help and support. Now it's coronation time. And to crown the winners, shall we call upon the holders of the 1998 contest titles to come on stage. Before the reigning queens take stage, let us celebrate the Palmolive Femina Miss India contest contestant, should I say, who won the only international crown in 1998. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome on stage a young lady who won for us the runners-up crown at the Miss International Contest in Japan, Ms. Shweta Jayashankar. Further proves that every Femina Miss India contest contestant is worthy of wearing a crown. An well, extraordinary girl, Shweta. After all, they are so well groomed by Femina and with exquisite wardrobes by the Sheetal Design Studio Mumbai 
and designer Ritu Kumar of Ritu's Delhi to accentuate their personalities. Our international victories are hardly surprising. Your Universe 1998, Limrina D'Souza. Thomas. Asia Pacific Quest 1998, Vitika Agarwal. who brought fame and glory to India. Now, let's call back our five finalists. The five finalists, please. Winners, but first, thank you for your patience. Here they are. Femina Miss India Asia Pacific is contestant number 21 Shivangi. Now, the Femina Miss India World is contestant number six, Yukta. best under pressure. Deadlines for her on. She loves doing fashion shows and meditating too. Although I don't think she'll have a whole lot of time for that in the year to come.
think it is. The Femina Miss India Universe is contestant number 19. Goal! self-esteem, confidence, and determination. And she always sports a smile. And I bet you she's going to have to do a lot of smiling in the year ahead. 